We're going to be talking about safety stirrups, specifically the peacock stirrup. So peacock stirrups are a very common stirrup that you're going to see in almost any lesson program in the equine industry, whether it's an able-bodied mainstream riding program or adaptive or therapeutic riding. And the peacock stirrup, just if you're not familiar with it, is this stirrup here that has metal on one side and a quick release rubber band on the other side. When we use peacock stirrups as a safety stirrup, there are a few important things that you need to be aware of as an instructor. And it's also really good to uh, teach and reinforce with your volunteers as well so that they can help maintain safety during your lesson. So with your peacock stirrup, when you put it on your saddle, if you can just kind of slide your leg forward here, please. When you put your peacock stirrup on your saddle, it should hang so that the rubber band is facing towards the head of the horse. And so that way, when your student puts their foot in their stirrup, so Troy, can you please take your legs down and go ahead and put your feet back in your stirrup. That way, when they turn their toe in and trap their stirrup or trap their irons, they have the rubber band on the outside of their stirrup. So having the rubber band on the outside of the stirrup is a very important thing, as probably most of you all know, because in the event of emergency, if he were to fall off the horse, the rubber band is there to break away so that if his foot slips in and gets stuck, as he falls, this breaks off and the foot can come out of the stirrup. But if our peacock stirrups are put on the, the incorrect way or our student happens to drop their feet and they pick it up with the metal on the outside, in the event of an emergency, this metal piece won't break away. And so if they fall off or if a foot gets stuck, the foot is gonna have a harder time coming out and the safety feature of this stirrup doesn't work appropriately. So when you are doing um, checks on your rider, anytime they lose a stirrup, whether it's, uh, you know, them bobbling and they just had a foot slip out or maybe you're having them do warm-ups and drop a feet out of the stirrup or maybe doing no stirrup work anytime they put their foot back in either you can teach the student to do a self check to make sure that that rubber band is on the outside you can have your volunteer do a check but ultimately you as the instructor need to make sure that on both sides the rubber band is facing to the outside Another important thing to talk about with the safety stirrup is what you should do with it when you are dismounting your rider. So when you dismount your rider, a lot of times we just kind of leave the stirrup hanging there after the, the student takes their foot out of the stirrup. But with the peacock stirrup, there is a little metal hook right here that holds the rubber band and can also hold your student onto the horse if they slide down. So if we left the stirrup like this and Troy went to dismount the horse and slid down the side here, his belt or shirt or ladies, you know, the little strap here in the middle could get stuck on the hook of our peacock stirrup. We take our stirrup and we put it here in front of our saddle. And this is something that a student can do, a volunteer can do, an instructor can do, depending on the ability of who you're working with. So that way, when he goes to dismount the horse, he would lean down and we would slide and we would be free of this little metal hook here. So the last safety tip I wanna give you on the safety stirrups is although they are a safety stirrup, you also need to be aware of other things that could get caught on this peacock stirrup. So not only could your rider get caught on the peacock stirrup as they slide down to dismount, but also there is a little metal knob here and the hook that could potentially get caught on your volunteers that walk next to your students. So a jacket, a sleeve, a pocket could get hung up on here as I'm working next to the student. And a lot of programs that don't utilize volunteers, so you know, kind of your uh, typical able-bodied riding program, we don't usually have people people working this closely with our students. So in therapeutic or adaptive riding, this is a unique factor that we need to take into consideration is that we might have people closely interacting with this stirrup. So that's something to keep in mind. Also be aware of the type of fencing that you have around your arena. So for example, my arena fence is made out of wire. And so as I'm riding by, 
we have to be careful to make sure that the little metal nub on here doesn't get hooked in the fence. And so that is a safety precaution that I have to take due to my unique arena setup. So check your arena, check your volunteers, check your equipment, see if there's any uh, safety factors that you need to take into consideration, even if you are using something that is considered safety equipment.